What is good, everybody? Welcome back to another My Damn Toys video. Today, we're back with a brand new 2-in-1 WWE Elite figure review on the WWE Elite Series 104 Solo Sokoa and Drew McIntyre figures. Now, it just seems like these sets just keep coming, man. They just keep on coming, and they won't stop coming, and they don't stop coming, and they don't stop coming. And they don't stop coming, and they don't stop coming, and they don't stop coming, and they don't stop coming. As the classic likes to tell us. Thanks a lot, Shrek. But today, man, we're taking a look at the first time in the line Solo Sokoa that has just... Why? As you guys know, they were going to fix the torso. They said they were going to fix the torso. We saw it back at the Mattel Design Center, and the first time I saw that damn prototype, bro, I was like, hell no, bro. Why? Why did this happen? Why? Why? Christ. But they couldn't get the bigger torso, man. I mean, Jesus. Why? Such an iconic, or I, I don't know if I'd say iconic. I mean, the storyline of the bloodline and everything around it is iconic, but the character of Solo Sokoa, who could be like, like, I'm not seeing it to this juncture. I'm just throwing out, like, things that are relative, but I don't think he's as big as Randy Orton or Batista, and I don't think he'll probably ever be to that level, but this is similar to an evolution scenario where eventually he's probably going to be big man on campus. He's eventually going to be that guy, and they botched his first figure here, man. So it does disappoint me. However, we do have good stuff going, and I'm excited to uh, get into this figure, see what his first figure is about, and I'm sure moving forward they're going to adjust the torso, at least I hope so. I think they ended up going with an Uso Elite torso, which I guess fits in with the damn family, but damn, it would have been nice to have like a head shrinkers or something else torso on there. I don't freaking know. Nonetheless, here's the two figures in packaging here. Another run-of-the-mill Drew McIntyre. We're going to take a look at both of them, of course, but here they are in in their packaging. Got the new white towel in there, which should be black. He doesn't even have a damn Samoan spike hand, so there's that, but images of the talent on the sides, images of the talent on the back. I mean, look at that torso there. You're not fooling me, Bradley. Rest of the figures in the way. Pretty damn good set. Solo Sokoa, Drew McIntyre, and I would knock over the damn background, bro. I can't. I can't. Son of a bitch! I'm telling you, bro, I'm moving houses soon, and when I move, I'm going to change up this this stuff. I'm going to change up this background. I don't know what I'm going to do just yet. I'm playing with some stuff and tinkering it. But nonetheless, let's shut the hell up, crack these guys out of the packaging, and find out what they're all about. So here's Drew McIntyre and Solo Sokoa out of the packaging, man. I'm, you know, I'm, I'm getting through it. I'm trying to process it. I don't hate the figure. I don't despise it. I loathe. I'm just kidding. It's not It's not the end of the earth. But it is, it's a pretty, I, there's some things going on with this figure that I just don't like. Like, I, I don't know. We're going to get into all those things. We're going to break down the accessories, of course. What we're going to do is take a closer, we're going to run through Drew. Let's get through Drew McIntyre really quick, like, and then we'll run it through and get back to Solo Sokoa really quickly, because that's really what the thing's all about. I mean, this Drew McIntyre is basically a repaint, man. It's a great figure, all things and purposes, and we're going to get into the things, of course, but this video is mainly about the Solo Sokoa. I just threw the Drew McIntyre in there, so I can include the Drew McIntyre. All right, guys, so for Drew McIntyre's accessories, it's pretty much the exact same accessories we've got the, with the Elite 89 figure, man. I mean, this is the Elite 89 Drew McIntyre figure, just repainted trunks. Like, for his kilt accessory, it's the same damn kilt accessory, same sculpts. You get the pocket, you get the stripes, you get the black and silver instead of the blue and silver and white or whatever we saw last time. It does clasp in the back. I don't like this junk, you know. I guess it works for display purposes. I would like to see a cloth go at it one time. Maybe that could come in the Ultimate Edition. I, I, I keep talking about a Drew McIntyre Ultimate Edition or something like that's going to happen. It might happen. Nonetheless, you do get the kilt, and then you get the damn sword to slay dragons and shit. And the handle's nice. It's got a nice sculpt and paint work going on. Pretty sure this is the exact same sculpt, exact same paint. You ain't slaying nothing with that dull knife, Brad. Pretty cool accessory for his entrance and everything like that. I think it gets the job done. And then for accessories, what would it be without mic holding hands? And then they always give Drew like these thigh slapping claymore kick hands, which I think work good, but they're also like the praying clasping hands, throne sitting hands, different things like that. But that for Drew McIntyre specifically, it's easily the claymore kick thigh slapping slap. So getting into Drew McIntyre, man, starting off the head sculpt. Great head sculpt. I remember when we got it in Elite 89. Of course, that was 15 series ago, which doesn't seem like a long time, but that, that was a pretty decent time ago now. But the head sculpt does look good. I think it, it's a nice Drew McIntyre head sculpt. I don't hate the head sculpt or anything like that. I think it looks good. The body type and the skin tone and the arms and everything, I think this is a pretty damn, like, perfect representation just about of Drew McIntyre. I think it represents him really, really good. Going down to the trunks, solid black trunks, but you do get the, like, cross swords here which look really good in the silver and red black wrist tape 
standard nice size thighs and legs and everything for Drew and then you do get the same swords graphic on the right knee pad and then the blank left knee pad and then the solid black boots nothing too over the top or immaculate I think Drew's figures are pretty damn good I enjoy Drew McIntyre a lot and I like his figures as well which is why I collect a lot of them so for your Drew McIntyre figure comparisons guys here is all of our modern Drew McIntyre elites that we have seen you know we did have like the throwback Survivor Series elite and also this figure all the way to the left is also a Survivor Series Elite. So we've gotten two Drew McIntyre Survivor Series Elites in the last couple years. Or was that a Royal Rumble figure? I want to say it was Survivor Series though, wasn't it? Nonetheless, Drew McIntyre getting two pay-per-view Elite set figures. One flashback, one current. Kind of wild. But you do have the Survivor Series Elite. You have the Elite 89, the current Elite 104, the top picks, the Elite 83, and then the Elite 70, I think it was. And then this figure was also a top picks. And then we had the NXT figure, which is pretty much this figure, except the graphics had black in there. And I think I torso swapped it and turned it into a big pile of garbage. So I just recently bought one on eBay for five bucks, just so I'd have the full Drew McIntyre Elite figure comparison and everything like that for the future. But I love Drew McIntyre and all these figures, man. I just don't, I think in their eras, these were perfect representations of Drew McIntyre at that time. So he has a really good track record of elite figures. So getting into Solo Sokoa's hands, you do get a decent amount here. You get interchangeable hands, you get the entrance towel, and you get Cloth Goods t-shirt. But he doesn't come with a damn Samoan spike hand. I don't know what they were thinking there. I don't know how you missed that. I mean, Jesus Christ. We do have a Samoan spike hand or something similar, I do believe. I think we got one with Umaga or something like that maybe in the Royal Rumble Elite maybe which you could easily use for this which I definitely will be. One thing that's very interesting about this shirt the We The Ones Bloodline shirt is that it has no Velcro so they do have the you know the one hand graphic there for the We The Ones pose and everything like that and I do believe that the Usos Ultimate Editions are coming with this. I can't remember if it was fringe or not like the cuts at the bottom but nonetheless it will be cool to see all those guys up next to each other when we finally get the Usos but this is very nice. It's not the stretchy material that we've seen in the past. It's like the standard WWE figure shirt that we've come to know from Mattel. But it's still really nice and cool, and I'm glad we got this included. I'll never complain about cloth goods. You know what I'm saying, Brad? I'm going to accept this all the way. And then we do get this new towel accessory. I'm pretty sure this is a brand new sculpt. I don't believe we have seen this before. Wraps around the head nice. I would have preferred a black towel, though. I do believe that would be more accurate. But it does have a nice sculpt to it and everything like that. And if you guys want to see what it looks like on the solo figure, you just tuck it around the head right there. And, you know, it, I guess that works for me. It's not like egregious or anything like that. I think, you know, it, it, it accomplishes the goal that you're trying to capture there. So I think it works. I think it works here, you know, towel over the head and everything like that. I, it's rubber, so it is what it is. But I think for posability and photography and stuff, I think it, uh, you know, I think it will suffice. And then for your interchangeable hands, you do get the mic holding hands. The right hand is white tape and then the left hand is blank and again no no Samoan spike hand here to go along with your mic holding hands you also get fists so that's cool you can beat the hell out of people and then he also has the we the one hands which are nicely sculpted and everything it's got the white pegs in there which are always great I do appreciate that but he's got the pointer hands for the we the ones or he can point at people and tell them to shut the hell up all right guys so getting into Solo Sokoa himself man I don't hate the head sculpt I think it does have some good likeness here I think I just want him to be more pissed off like a little bit more pissed offness come from the head sculpt would help it but I don't hate it I think it's a nice stern expression or a blank expression there got the nice mullet haircut going on it's like a mullet mohawk almost so I guess it's just technically a mullet but nonetheless looks good head sculpt solid I don't hate it then we have the Usos torso here which runs in the family and the bloodline apparently you know what I'm saying you know he's got all his tattoo work in here and everything like that it's just too skinny it's too lean when we zoom out you guys will be able to notice it also, his shorts, aren't they supposed to, like, come up to his belly button or over his belly button? So, all of this is just kind of messed up here. You know, I think originally they had, like, this as a waist wrap or something like that. Maybe similar to, like, a Jimmy Hart or something. But it does say Solo there. You got the black and red on there. I don't even like these trunks, man. It's got Street Champ here. It is the Usos crotch piece. And then I can't tell if these are Wesley upper legs or or not. I can't really tell. I think this is newly sculpted, though. I, I, again, I don't know. It's got the white tape on the right side, all his tattoo work and everything like that. And then going down, he does have pinless legs, 
with the open knee pads and he does have his graphics on there but these legs are also too skinny man he just looks so damn lean and skinny he looks like a like a stick figure man but he does have lower leg cut he's got the black taped ankles there and i don't know man just look at him look how damn skinny and lean this man looks i guess it's like i don't know man it's just too skinny it's too skinny legs are too skinny torso's too skinny he's just a skinny guy which there would be nothing wrong with that if he was actually skinny or this lean but the facts are that he's not he's got bigger shoulders he's got bigger arms than this he's got bigger belly than this and i want my figures to be accurate now for your solo figure comparison you do have the bloodline figure comparisons here or the whole bloodline up next to each other and obviously this is literally the night of the tribal chief tribal court scenario where the usos and solo and everybody got into a beef and it was a really just brilliant segment of course everything with the bloodline is but i think roman like left solo by himself to get beat up by jay or something like that literally on the day of this recording so i guess it just goes all hand in hand here but here's the usos and roman and paul Heyman, all the bloodline up next to solo and i guess this works you know it's it's going to be a standalone figure. I guess it doesn't look as bad when it's all mixed in together, but this figure could certainly be better. And, uh, you know, I'm sure we're going to get plenty of Bloodline Elites and figures coming soon. We have the Ultimate Usos coming. We already have an Ultimate Roman. Are we going to get an Ultimate Solo, maybe with correct body proportions and stuff like that? That would be something to explore. Maybe potentially a Mattel Creations exclusive or Ringside exclusive. Maybe they can swing that to go along with our Usos. But we also have possibly a new Roman Reigns torso coming at SDCC for a new Ultimate and stuff like that. So we will have to see about all those things. You know, they changed AJ Styles in this line, actually, specifically. Can't wait for that review. But, you know, maybe they are in the world of changing around these things when we speak of them. And, you know, I like to think I have some sort of a play in that or at least a voice in that. And so, you know, and so, yeah, we want these figures to be accurate, man. So, yeah, this solo figure, while not completely egregious awful, it definitely needs to be fixed. So that pretty much wraps up our 2-in-1 WWE Elite figure review on the WWE Elite Series 104 Solo Sokoa and Drew McIntyre figures, man. I mean, the, the, the judgment call is up to you, man. I mean, I think everybody can be in agreement that the Solo Sokoa figure is too skinny. It's definitely too lean. I don't like the leg skinniness. I don't like the torso skinniness. I don't like the arm skinniness. I think they need to completely revamp this guy. I don't hate the head sculpt. I feel like it may be a little bit small. And I also feel like I wish he was a little bit more pissed off. Like, he's got like a stern face. But I think more of a pissed off face would have been better. But it's not horrible. I just, man, there are so many things they could do to upgrade this figure. I like the cloth goods, even though the shirt's kind of hard to get on because it's not the stretchy material. It is like straight up. Just a stitched up t-shirt, which is really cool to see. But uh, it's going to get some use getting used to. But I do like the non-Velcro. I do think that that's awesome. I like the We The One shirt. I like the hands and, you know, some different things going on. No Samoan spike hand is a huge L as well. I just, I, I, there's this figure could be so much better is really where we're at. The Drew McIntyre is damn good. Uh, you know, it's a repaint of his Elite 89. And so that's pretty much what you're getting there. You know, kind of take your pick. I like this tights, though. I like the cross swords. And I like, you know, the. it's a simple and plain figure. But it's a really damn good representation of Drew McIntyre. Same head sculpt, all those different things. I imagine we're probably going to get an ultimate Drew McIntyre one of these days. I totally see that. But I guess maybe we'll get that of his WrestleMania gear and the white would be cool. That can be the only thing I see out of a, the next Drew McIntyre Elite because his last two pretty much wrap it up. I don't think Drew McIntyre was really needed here, but at least it's a damn good figure and a damn good head sculpt. And maybe at San Diego Comic Con we'll get an Ultimate Edition Drew McIntyre, but this Solo Sokoa figure definitely misses the mark for me. At least for me, there's so many things they could do to improve it, and hopefully they go back to the drawing board and try again, and they don't just keep this same formula and change the gear. That would be absolutely atrocious. But we will have to see, man. But nonetheless, that is going to wrap up my review of Elite 104, Solo Sokoa, and Drew McIntyre, man. I'd love to know your thoughts on these figures down in the comment section below. You know, it is damn disappointing, but if you guys want to grab these figures, go over to Ringside Collectibles. Use promo code MDTOYS to save yourselves 10%. That is going to wrap this thing up, man. Use shout-out to our MDT patrons. If you guys are interested in becoming a patron member of the MDT YouTube channel, click the link in the description below, of course. But I would love to know what your thoughts are on these figures down below. Follow me on Instagram, Twitter, and TikTok at my damn toys. I'm getting the hell out of here, man. Thank you for watching. Subscribe to the channel. I'll see you guys next time. Have a blessed one, and I'll catch you guys later. You'll never be